Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a demo review that I did for another top level team a couple months ago. It's going to be Ford Gaming versus Witness Gaming. Basically what I did in this is I watched the playback of the match and I gave them some feedback, some critiques about how they could improve and take their game to the next level. I thought that this could be useful to put out there, especially since I just launched my mentoring program over at patreon.com slash banny. So if you are looking to improve at TF2 and you are considering joining my mentoring program, this might give you a good idea of what you could expect from a demo review or a mentoring session from me. All right. So hope you enjoy this, guys, and find it insightful and entertaining. We are going to be reviewing Ford Gaming versus Witness Gaming from the perspective of Seeds. He was the medic for Ford Gaming. So we are going to hear all the comms. We're going to see the match as they saw it. I think that this is going to be very insightful because I've already seen this and I think that Ford can go toe to toe with Witness Gaming if they adjust a few key things. All right. So we're going to go over those things. We'll be able to hear the comms rewind easily and really, uh, you know, hone in on what needs to happen here. So I believe the match starts at about the 15 minute mark here. All right. So it's good. They go into this expecting what the other team's going to do. They know tendencies of the enemy. Good. So here we come into the mid. They're taking it slow. They're spamming. Soldier jumps out. Spots him. Calling damage. Everyone's chilling. They're just all trying to pressure together. They get a pick. All right. This is perfect. This, when I saw this, I was like, damn, this team's actually pretty good. Against Witness Gaming, this is a team that, um, they're, they're very good at playing super aggressive. And they're also very good at denying super aggression. What they tend to lack at being able to handle is slow paced focus fire. You notice they took it very slow. No one overextended, took a ton of damage. No one got isolated and took a lot of damage. They just took it slow and they focus fired damage. They find a pick. Now they just all have to basically stand still here and just play their numbers and slowly force the enemy team out. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, this Ford team has some potential. Literally the first mid. Because I was expecting them, honestly, to get rolled in a more aggressive way. But instead, um, they do end up losing the match. But it's more of a slow, kind of throwy uh, style. Not them just getting rolled. So, this is also perfect. They get that pick. They start forcing the enemy team out. Then both soldiers take height. Instead of the soldiers just bombing forward and getting melted, they... They move slowly together as a team and take positioning. This is really good. Okay. So right now they have a scout pick. This is where things start getting weird. Okay. This is what I don't... I'll, I'll let this play for a sec. Decent damage there from Sandblast. They get the soldier pick. Alright. Here's what I don't like. For one, this is something this team did over and over again. Soapy... He's trying to play like he's playing against, like, advanced players. He's playing against, like, low-invite teams. He's bombing the medic over and over again in this match. And he's just dying. And he never, not once, I don't think, gets anything of value. Against teams that have DM this good and mechanics this good, where they're going to hit every surf, they're going to fucking meat shot you, like, there's a difference between Witness Gaming and Global Clan Fire. Even though they're both invite teams... That would have worked against Global Clan Fire, but against this team, you can't do that. You just can't. Your team already had a scout pick to start the fight, so the scout is arriving late. You pick a soldier. You guys need to be playing off numbers here. Another thing I really don't like here, Alpha. He's just waddling here. He he opened this up. I'll, I'll rewind this. He opened this up. Watch him. He's here with the heels. He got 300. Okay, he got 300. And then what does he do with it? He just jumps in front of the entire enemy team, then falls down to the low ground, then just waddles. Like, this this is not how you play soldier. I'm sorry, but this is so wrong. That's Maybe your demo will be in this position, but as a soldier, this is god-awful. Because look, now your medic has to fucking heal you, and you're not doing any damage. So this soldier can't be here. All the heals need to be going into the scout and demo. 
because the medic has to be healing alpha here now sandblast isn't fully buffed now this scout isn't buffed now your demo isn't buffed all because there's one player out of position literally one person being in the wrong spot can make everything else impossible to manage so this soldier he got 300 what he needs to do is he needs to jump so far away that he does not need to get healed so far away so that he's distracting the enemy team keep in mind they already had a pick on a soldier so he can also afford to go deep to distract maybe not necessarily commit or look for an opening um and he can afford to die still because Worst case scenario, they go down a number, they can retreat and still hold the chokes. So all of that literally failed because one soldier decided to get healed. So, and then before that, you know, Soapy dying alone, that wasn't good either because, again, if we watch this, if we watch the timing of how he died, mm, gonna go from saw. Lower, saw. No he calls, ready he's going go. from saw, ready to go. Weak. Roll, roll, roll. He's really weak, 30. Jumping in. Jumping in. Here's the thing. Soapy was in Saw. He said he was ready. Okay? He needs to keep waiting. He needs to keep waiting until the combo says to come in. Because if he goes in when the team is like backing up, or if he goes in when people are like weak or getting healed or whatever, he's just going to end up feeding. So right now, the heals are far back. The heals aren't in to like fully commit to distracting. Witness Gaming, if they're here watching this, um, this soldier and this scout aren't a big threat because they're not getting healed. They can't get Ubered. So they don't really have to worry that much about them. They can just quickly look at Soapy, kill him. So right here, imagine Alpha's not here. Once these heals link back up with Sandblast, that's when Soapy should be going. Literally at that moment. So it's, it's just a matter of patience and it's a matter of coordination. That's literally it. If... Soapy gets into good positions and says that he's ready, then lets his main caller or his combo call him in. This completely changes the entire push. And if Alpha's not here, because that would mean that Alpha's distracting, then Soapy comes in and Sandblast is fully buffed. That's like the perfect scenario for this fight to go well. Howard gets launched up and dies. It happens. I also don't like Logan's positioning. Maybe he felt that he couldn't be in the heels because Alpha's there. So that's another problem. Logan's over here on the left alone. But what, what you really need if you're trying to put extra pressure out is Logan needs to be just like sinking stickies onto this, the point because they're going to slowly start taking ground and forcing Witness Gaming back. They won't be able to really challenge Sandblast head on if he does that. If he's just chilling back here, just like spamming like a few projectiles over the, the wall here, He's not really doing that much. So I would rather all those like three, four things to happen. Um, Alpha not being near, anywhere near the heels. Soapy waiting for the call in. Logan being on the heels. Those things all need to happen. Otherwise, you're never going to beat this team. But these are all very simple things to do. You just need to understand that that's the style you're playing. You're not playing the feed one soldier to force... A medic who's never going to get forced with two of the fucking best scouts in the game. That's just not... That's 2013 TF2. You guys need to level up, all right? Another thing that I will say, and this already kind of happened, but it's not as bad because um, you had a scout pick and then a soldier pick. So Soapy wasn't in as much danger. A trend that you're going to see here is Soapy isolated on the flank. Five people in yard and Soapy alone in saw. And if you know anything about Witness Gaming, they love to push the flanks. They'll buff their flank. Laz and Knight will hold W into Saw. If the moment they see you dry pushing yard, boom, they pounce Saw. They find someone isolated. They get the kill. So if Soapy's there alone, he needs to anticipate that, and he can't just let that happen. Okay. But anyways, back to the back to the moment. Two for two. It's a reasonable trade. You know, things went wrong, but... They end, up, they end up cutting their losses. Very good. Very good to cut your losses there. They're considering running a, a sniper. Sandblast calls single sack Soapy. It, it, it literally pains me to hear that. Oh, single sacking a soldier in this like level of play is just... It's so bad. 
I mean, it's okay if you really want to take it slow. Maybe you want to take minimal risk and bait them into doing things to you. That's okay. I guess maybe it's zero zero. So it's like we need to establish a lead. So maybe we don't want to take big risks right now. But I feel like there are still more effective ways that they could start getting that lead. Sack twice in a row, like he Alpha just called to single sack twice in a row and then snipe. I don't know, man. It's it's like an okay idea, but it's 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 very like simplistic i don't know and here again look at this alpha's just sitting here requiring heals getting spammed alpha needs to learn to get away okay now he went to saw finally he got away from your combo he dies they get a trade two trades okay this guy comes in for free this is bad you have four people alive someone needs to be spotting this this guy should not be allowed to get here unseen um, I think it's probably Sandblast here. He should be spotting Saw over and over. Or, you know, Logan could trap this and then Sandblast plays, like, overwatching. Like, you guys just gotta quickly understand when you're down to what's being covered and what's not. And people need to claim what they're watching. If I'm watching this, I say, okay, I got this. Someone else needs to quickly realize, okay, that means this isn't being watched. I'll watch that. This stuff needs to happen instantly because this scout... He's going to walk in if you're not doing that. So, scout. Scout comes in. He's still... Look, he's he knows. No one's challenging him. He just keeps coming in. Now he's distracting over here. A soldier's getting in saw. They're walking in slope. They're pressuring every doorway right now. There needs to be stickies on these chokes. Howard tries to challenge and ends up dying. Okay, the call for the exchange. This is very important. This needs to be very decisive. Nice meat shots. I'm I'm honestly very impressed by the medic gameplay here, because most medics probably would have popped already. I'm I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. But that's that's very good trust with Sandblast and good mechanics. Sandblast got a bit greedy here. He he got that scout pick, then he got the demo pick, then he forced their whole combo out. He says he beefed. Maybe he did have an opportunity to get the med. But, oh man, you have a demo pick and he just called for a one-man sack. Those are not equivalent. Like, um, that's not the right response. A demo pick? That's not a one-man sack situation. That's a fucking ultra-confidence situation. What this tells me is that Sandblast has zero confidence in his team when he's dead. I've felt that with some teams I've played with. It's super bad. You need to say, okay, Howard, get on beam. Go for the exchange. Or fucking take space. Everyone pressure. A demo pick? That's like such a huge weight off your entire team's shoulders. Because people aren't going to get insta gibbed Walking forward on like sync stickies. Your med's not going to catch a pipe. That's like such an amazing situation for you guys. And your demo can control all the height. Uncontested, basically. Single sacking off this. Oh, it's so painful. He did 50 damage to the med. Like... You just traded a demo pick for 50 damage on the med? Come on. Alright, instant trade on Laz. That's good. One thing about Witness Gaming, though, they counter sack super fast. Soapy goes and dies. Both times that that happened, Laz instantly was in another choke. So they need to be very mindful of that. Now Alpha's solo sacking? HP here. Tower, watch lower. I'm dead. Oh, the stickies on that. One rocket on the med? Hello, uh, it's just Christ. not worth it. Okay. What could happen there instead? Alpha can jump through saw. He can live on the pipe. He can high bomb and like curve away. He's drawing eyes. Everyone else needs to be pressuring. Like your demo should be peeking and putting spam. What? What if Alpha puts 140 in the med, but you're all just running away the moment he commits? There needs to be extra pressure that guarantees that force if it's going to happen. Maybe someone else overextends while everyone else is looking at the med. Maybe, you know, someone just threads the needle with that shot. There needs to be full team pressure whenever these things are happening. The one man sack, it's not going to cut it. It's really not going to cut it.
Soldier in, gets baited in. Nice pick. Hard pressure for sniper. Okay, they have a sniper now. Trap death. Not ideal, but it's one for one. It's a good call. They don't know the sniper. Keep stickies on the doors. Yes, very important. Don't give them three space. They're still holding on to this. They're struggling to break second, but they're holding on. I'm watching window. They left all. They left all. You want to try to get a window? Yeah. I'm going to go around. Right now, it's just patience. They've got a sniper, so they got to let him take shots. At this point, they're committed to the sniper play. really picking window. I'm going to go around. Okay, let's try and get you an angle from Saw, maybe, then. Watch for second. Usually, if I'm in this situation... I won't necessarily call where my sniper needs to go. I think you need to trust your sniper to know where to peek, what shots to take, and just like support him wherever he wants to go. Because especially for someone like Alpha, who's very experienced with sniper, um, he might know a little bit better, you know, in that moment, what shots he think he thinks he can hit and all that. So I would just support him instead of microing him. This is a good idea. Giving, giving like... An idea that's good though. It's hard to pick here. Yeah, if you can, if you can, okay, what are we gonna do if we get that silver pick? Do you want me to just like jump in? And yeah, scout just... lower, scout no. Nice. no. Nice. Okay, insane headshot. He gets a scout pick. Okay, Sandblast tells Soapy to not die in Saw. In my opinion, obviously Soapy knows not to fucking instantly die, but I think that what what Sandblast is trying to say is a little more complex than that what he's trying to say is if you're alone in saw don't take a 2v1 that's that's what he's trying to say right but maybe what soapy's thinking is you know i can just peek and you know maybe i'll hit some nice rockets oh fuck i'm getting rushed like he needs to instead be thinking am i alone step one then therefore i need to play to live am i supported then i need to take the fight that's that's what sandblast is trying to say but it doesn't get conveyed well in the moment in the heat of it and i think that it led to a lot of miscommunications and misunderstandings for them sandblast making space so again notice this five people lower soapy is completely alone this happens almost every single time so he needs to just recognize that that's the situation that he's dealt an alternative to this though could be Two saw, four lower. I wouldn't mind that. If Alpha's on sniper, Alpha should be here, and maybe Howard goes saw. If Alpha's on soldier, um, you know, maybe Alpha can quickly rotate between. But I think that Howard and Alpha should both be more willing to rotate to the flank and help Soapy and Saw, because they might be able to win that 2v2 instead of just always conceding saw and always having to give it up. Because that what that also does. Sorry for all the pauses. What that also does is it makes healing this so much more manageable. If you have to be a medic here, healing four people who are simultaneously peeking and eating spam, that's very fucking hard. As good of, as a medic as you may be, it's just impossible to keep everyone at full health. If someone is a little more independent, goes off towards saw, it takes a lot of pressure off of your med and allows more heals to go into all these people. I also don't like how Logan is always isolated on the left and Sandblast is always on the right. These guys need more synergy. They need to be pushing this stuff together. Are you holding? I'm at 30. We're eating damage on Terry. Just, I need better space, Logan. Walk forward, man. We're okay. down a scout, dude. Yeah, yeah, Sandblast is recognizing it. Okay, now they're finally moving together. They're giving us a Sandblast lot of room. Okay, but you have a sniper. So, really, in, in my opinion, this should just be trapping the point and baiting them to peek. Eventually, your sniper's going to hit a shot or someone's going to commit on him and you kill that guy. This really shouldn't be risking dying pushing the point. Plus having a sniper. See that guy? That's the guy you were, you were waiting for. He needs to be instantly dead. They're double bombing you. We used, I'm sorry. There's a lot of damage. It's rough. It happens. That force. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wanted to save people. Someone got bounced up into that corner. And then you were just dead. Because the other soldier came in. Now they're just fucking chasing with insane momentum. You have no scouts, so... You gotta leave. Everyone needs to live. Alpha dies. Your scouts will get forward, so you can still hold this. We're not gonna get anything.
But wait, did they not pop? Okay, I don't think they popped. That that is a problem. Game on sniper. Wait, you can see that they're heavy. not stacking mid, so they're coming in fast. They're called it saw. They're gonna just hold W. Soapy's dead. No other pressure. Seventy percent. Okay, you guys can get Uber. Someone needs to be spotting lower. Soapy is dead. That means lower is wide open. Usually, or whatever place Soapy normally watches. Uh, AT left though. Yeah, they come in straight lower. They pop. Ninety percent. Your demo gets caught. They just cap. So that's a situation where someone's dead. Therefore, a spot's open. They push that spot. No one else compensates by spotting it. Very um. Doors. No, dude, Very, uh, like that. basic Fucking shit. Go back flat. It's true that Soapy died there, but they're trying to, like, half and half. There needs to be a call. Are we completely leaving, or are we trying to get the force? And I feel like they didn't specify that when the enemy team was coming in through Saw. Because they could afford to sack Soapy for a force with everyone pressuring, because Alpha was going to spawn in time if that happened. If, if they're not going to try and force, then they just all need to leave. And that call needs to be made so that Soapy knows that he shouldn't even, like, bother spamming, really. Like, in a risky position. You say your pop was bad, but I disagree. I'll rewind to that pop, but... Like, look at this. If you don't pop here, you lose anyway. So... Uh, Okay, Logan's 200. Sandblast. Sandblast dies. Logan's 60. That rocket would kill Logan. How is that a bad pop? <laughs> That's not a bad pop. They didn't. Did anything force you? Uh, I wanted to save people, otherwise I was going to jump there. Drop Logan. If you drop Logan there, you would get forced anyways. I completely disagree. I'm sure. Because that rocket would do 100 to you. Like, there's no scenario where you get out of that without popping. So it's better to pop and save people than to not. That's how I see it. AT left though. They're in the straight lower, straight lower, straight lower, straight lower. Right, 85. Logan, try not to get caught here. But I'm no, I'm point, 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 point. Logan got caught. Unfortunate. Got, this is why, Soapy, you can't get caught need... spamming doors. No, dude, you can't get caught spamming doors like that. Just fucking go back to last. Stop trying to shoot. Let, like, you're not going to hit low guys spamming rockets with G's to saw. You'll never force him that way. That you is true. Doors, you're not going to force him with the spam. I need you alive there to block the point. I would agree with that, but again, there needs to be a decisive call. Right, whether... There's a force happening or not. If it's right, ambiguous, it people might Let's start go. getting caught. Give us like 40. So it looks like they're going to take the mid slow again. Sandblast no, no, pressure is no, no, pretty no, far no, forward. That, that is a bit risky, but he gets away with it often. He's fading out, fading out. Scott's hit. So is it decent damage top left. Decent top left. Here, took 100. Demo said 80. Health is good. Ash is at 50 top right. Bro. Literally, oh man, yeah, he is. Do you guys not realize that the way you're playing this mid is how you should be playing your second pushes? <laughs> like you're doing it right here. This is what I, this is what's like so disappointing about this is that you guys played these mids fucking perfectly. No one's feeding, no one's overextending. Everyone's just focus firing. Everyone's rotating heels. This is how you should play. <laughs> But then, once mid's over, it just all goes out the window, and it's like, oh, let's solo sack or some shit. I don't fucking know. So does bombing top left. We can roll. We can like, roll. that's fucking amazing. Demo pick, yes. Don't get picked on flank, okay. We're in. Get ready for the bomber. Alpha's waddling! This hurts me to watch. The demo is fucking dead. Jump and make space, man. There's... There's a fucking very, like, very standard jump you can do. Jump off the wall or off the wall near window, land on bats. It's so hard for them to kill you there because they have to fucking either rocket jump up and now tunnel you, leaving another choke open, or a scout has to run all the way up this, come around a fucking tight corner into you, turn around completely. Like, you need to be doing something to Amazing. help your team here. 
What are you doing? Trying to hit an air shot? What? Hit 50 on the screen? Having 100 health? Sandblast can't get healed now. Like, oh, it's pain. We used, wait, the, my bad. We gotta have better Ubers here. We gotta back up here. The thing is, he's saying we need, yeah, we need bad Ubers. Okay. That's probably true. You, sometimes you need to have tough love. Teach people, teach people to stop fucking doing dumb shit and just drop them. Let me see the specifics there if anyone needed to be dropped. This isn't a med critique, by the way. I actually think that you played well as med. I'm just using this because I have comms and a good perspective. Yeah, it's all yours, all yours. I'm in from lower here. Get ready for the bomber. You're going to get bombed from saw side here. Okay, let's see. Logan has... 150. Okay, yeah. I would probably drop him there. Reason being, that's a solo bomb. So you know for a fact that when you pop this, there's no one else to chase. They're so far away. This is the only guy in. Best case scenario, you get this kill. They still have Uber. It's probably better to drop this guy. Try and get this kill anyways, and then back out. I think for me, as a medic, that's always stuff. what I'm thinking about. Okay. Whether I'm going to pop or drop someone is... If I save this person, are we even going to have an Uber that's worth having? Like, are we going to force the enemy? Or is it just going to get thrown away? If it's just going to get thrown away, I might just drop them. I'm not a medic main, obviously, but... That's usually my rule of thumb. They're through saw. Are there any traps? There's a passive trap. So this is a very common thing, setting up passive traps. I really think you need to trap the chokes. You have to trap the chokes... Because what that allows your your team to do is your soldiers can then spam the people that are clearing the traps. And then if they do clear them, I mean, okay, best case scenario, you debt and you actually kill someone. Maybe, you know, they forced your trap, whatever. Next best thing, they're clearing your traps and your soldiers have a little more time to spam and put pressure. Then they clear your trap, you lay more stickies. It, it hurts nothing to do that. I'm bringing two back. Okay, you have a back cap attempt. Dude, Trying to buy time because your team's at disad. You guys build pretty quickly. It's pretty good. Like, they probably think they have big ads still. But you're already 80. Okay, 4v3. Yeah, you can hold this. Me and Habib would hold this. But yeah, aggressive stickies. He still has this fucking crate trapped. This is bad. Yeah. They ran away. So move your traps. We have it. We, oh, sorry. I don't. Okay. This is very, very, um, very precise here. But the med, I'd say the med slightly overextended here. Ending up on the left of this demo is probably why you had to get popped. If you would have stayed right where you are, I think you don't get forced here. Like you could have milked this a little bit longer. The fact that you're right here, I feel like, was why you felt like you had to pop. Because this scout can now meat shot you. Someone could come behind you, saw. We, oh, sorry. But, regardless, Logan is still shooting pipes. There should have been stickies on these guys' exits, and they get, like, juggled in. Like, this was still winnable. This is an exchange, and basically an even exchange. But you have better positioning. He's at 50. They're going to walk back in there's some damage here, but your spawners get here a little bit too late. Yeah. So. That was just a slight overextension. Here, this is just getting caught in the moment, like sort of arguing or deconstructing what just happened, spacing out, and they, they're already pushing, and now you're fucked. So really... You guys needed to stay focused here, and someone needed to keep the main calls going. Like, where are they? They're not They're not stacking mid, obviously. Times two on mid. They're pushing. We need to be spotting this shit. We need to be locking out the chokes. But they're already in, and you already lost this, basically. I'm fine. I'm fine. A lot of damage onto your med. Now they're trying to follow up. I'm no longer fine. I die. I guess there was a trap that he walked on. It happens, but yeah. They just, they just followed up over... 
off the damage. But the only reason they did that damage is because they got in for free. They should not be able to be like four people through saw before it's even called. Logan's overextended. A little bit of a... Uh, yeah, late, late death there. Desperation setting in. They're gonna have pretty soon. He's spawning yeah, relatively soon. Hopefully if someone's spotting lower or left. Nice pick. Bought you some time. Both soldiers here is not good. One of them needs to be spotting elsewhere. Because there's an imminent threat of an Uber incoming. And they're both overlapping, watching the same thing. I'm gonna stick the point as soon as I spawn. I'm jumping in to spawn. They come in left, but it's a surprise. No one's spotting into lobby. Trying to get out of spawn. Unable to save the scout. Good fight onto the point. Nice hold. Soldier point. Soldier bombs in for the point. Nice. One up. Alright, this is kind of tragic. Spawner comes in. Just meat shots the... That does 60 from there. That's actually insane. Nice. One up. I'm stuck. But yeah, he, he kind of just rolls in, blast, in. shoots him in the back. From there, that did 60. That's actually crazy. <laughs> but yeah, he just, Sandblast just got fucked. I'm dead. Unbelievable, dude. Yeah, that's rough. Logan, I need you to be alive, dude. I will milk harder. It's okay. Our mids are pretty good. Our mids are, we just have to work on after that. Let's keep up the mid. But yeah, mids have been good. You guys just throw every time you push second. It's like a brick wall right now because you're approaching it completely wrong. I would say. Sandblast, yeah. Sandblast, he's already fucking... His head's not in the game anymore. <laughs> I feel like he needs to just ignore these fucking people. I'm dead. The double bomb, they get you. You guys have no positioning. You got completely forced out to lower. I want to see if there's anything else that we can see here. So, the previous mids, their soldiers did not commit. This is the first mid they've actually committed. I don't know about this. If this scout wants to get buffed, he needs to fucking come to you. <laughs> this is... This is way too much investment to get this guy. And now, as a result, yeah, your positioning is so terrible. So, that's all I can see from your perspective. But, they definitely exploited it. Always remember that as a medic, you're basically a magnet for your team. Wherever you position yourself, your teammates will follow. If you position yourself in the worst possible spot, unfortunately, your entire team's position will suffer as a result. So. They go full up. I think we can fight second. Nah, we have a late death. We can't really fight second. I'm just picking forward for you to make some space. Alright, busting out the sniper. They're moving a bit slower here. Man, again, your trap is in upper lobby. Come on. Fucking trap the choke. Make it hard for them to take this point. You have a sniper. Make them have to deal with the sniper and the trap and the fucking spam. Not this passive ass lobby trap. Like what is <laughs> What is that barrel trap? Oh. But as long as no one dies, okay, it's a last hold. It happens. NG heavy coming out. All right, off class is happening. No one spotting lower. Okay. When you're on last, literally get your entire team. Join an empty server or do it before a scrim. During our last holds, by default, I will watch this. You will watch this. He will watch that, and this will be covered by this. Our medic will be here, everything will be covered, and thus we will have information of where the enemy team is pushing so that we can preemptively start rotating, so we can preemptively start spamming, etc. Very simple stuff, but it because they neglect to do this, a good team is just crumbling right now. This is so simple. It's so simple. But it would hold them so many last holds. Alright, that's half time. Next half. Actually, hold on. Let's uh let's listen to what they discuss at halftime. Let's listen. They uh 
the last mid they adapted and they just sent two soldiers deep. It was kind of my bad for being in shitty position because I was trying to buff Howard. Yeah. But I, I think uh, when that happens, if we see two soldiers going in, we can either go forward or we can try to clean them up. And it's up to you guys which you would rather do. But I reckon it's probably better to either have two scouts on the high ground to clean them up or to just say go in when we see them in. Just... Alright, that was the best possible thing he could have said. <laughs> that was perfect. It's very, like, just calm, very true, very constructive. Literally, everything he just said was perfect. He also acknowledged that he fucked up. So, literally, that, that entire thing was perfect. <laughs> run across the point. Our soldiers are just, like, Alpha did the right thing. Sobe needs to fucking just, just destroy them. Like, I watched the whole mid. I, like, you just... Sopi just needs to destroy them? Is that what he just said? <laughs> just compare how constructive what Seed said was to what Sandblast said. It's kind of like night and day. I think that Seeds comes from, I think, like the number one team in Europe. So he's a bit of more experienced in these sorts of situations. So he, he's a bit of a mentor to this team, I feel like. Um, they, should, they should really heed his wisdom. Destroy them. I watched the whole mid. I, like you just sat and shot rockets on the floor. You could have just. Here's the it. thing. Here's the thing. That mid worked twice in a row, and it was fucking good. The slow, spammy mid. So right now, what he's saying isn't actually the root of what went wrong. Seeds already said it all. Everything Sandblast is saying now is, it's taking them off track. They're missing the point now. Shit on Log Iron Artist with Alpha. We didn't even do anything on him. Whatever, we still have the bleeding problem. We have to fucking fix yeah. that ASAP. Beating pro we're bleeding problem? Mids, He's true. Like, it's right. Watch out this mid for killing two soldiers, basically. Yeah. Now he's saying, watch for the aggression. I will, I will. That's also very good. Notice for the patterns in the match. The first two mids, very slow. Then they went aggro. So now start thinking, okay, maybe they, they're more of an aggro team on mids. Because the first two they lost, the second one they won, or the third one they won, maybe now the aggression is going to be the norm. He's saying what he's going to change, very straightforward. I don't even know how we got forced a lot of the time, though. The first Uber lower was because I had to, well, actually, both of them were saving Logan, so I should just drop him. Maybe. Yeah, Logan, I don't know, dude, you're playing too fucking aggro. Like, in situation, like, you have to. That's wrong. All we're doing is walking. Logan's. Okay. It's weird, because Logan is both simultaneously incredibly too passive, trapping, like, so far back instead of the chokes, and he's also getting caught out. So, I don't know. I wouldn't say that he's necessarily too aggressive. Um, I would say that you guys are just out of sync. Because they have no demo. We're not trying to Uber exchange first. That's not our goal. If we Uber exchange first, we lose that fight every time because we're, like, we're popping first. And their demo is going to be rolling out. Yeah. That's also... Yeah, just can't keep getting caught. Probably true what Samus just said. He doesn't want situations where they're just, they have an advantage, like a pick, and they're just popping, because then they're reducing their advantage. You can potentially still take a nice exchange if you have a demo pick, force the enemy team to flash a lot, have like stickies at their feet post-uber that they can't do to you. But ideally, your advantage is enough to bully for another advantage. Instead of, you know, you have an advantage and then you sort of like lower your advantage in order to fucking, you know, fight them. Um, so, I sort of agree with what Samus is saying there as well. I can't really see what's going on in a lot of spots of the map where I'm not playing. I can't really see what's happening. Uh, what the fuck is this? Playing. The medics are having a moment. We'll figure it out. Unfortunately, I've never seen that, three, but that those oh, goggles, I don't think. No, if they double bomb, he doesn't even listen. Dude, oh, no, they... I mean for you and me. While our soldiers... Yeah, well, yeah, okay. yeah. We need to kill the soldiers. Okay. Like, the hell? How we need to be on soldier duty with you? Or yeah. you, need to, you either need to commit to sticking the point and blowing them up and softening up for our soldiers, mm. or you need to commit to killing the soldiers. So the other players on their team are too weak to clean up any damage the soldiers do, so we can repush into them. So you was that a second push information or mid fight information? Let me listen. I, I can't really see what's going on in a lot of spots of the map where I'm not playing. I don't really see what's happening from a combo standpoint. We'll figure it out. I'm just trying to re-listen. Down three, but on this next mid, we'll clean up the soldiers. Mid, okay. They're talking about mid. If they double bomb, he doesn't even listen. Dude, oh, no, they... I mean for you and me. While our soldiers 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to kill the soldiers. Yeah. Like me and Howard need to be on soldier duty too. Or yeah. you, need to, you either need to commit to sticking the point and blowing them up. Okay. Up I mean, yeah. Soldiers, mm. Or you need to commit to killing the soldiers. One thing I would be cautious about is if you know that your med accidentally was in the wrong position, I wouldn't necessarily throw the entire mid out the window either. Because that could have just been the whole problem. So, so the other yeah. players on their team are too weak to clean up any damage the soldiers do, so we can repush into them. So you want me to play passive or do you want us to bomb with the bomb with If they run across the... Our passive mids are working against them because we have better spam than them. True. If they're playing fucking aggressive, do do? double bomb the point. Okay. Like, okay. If we can commit on it, you can just land up top and spam them from above. Sure. Sounds reasonable. Soldier in. Curves out. So now I'd be thinking, okay, this is a slow mid because he didn't commit. First, it's like the first two mids now. Okay, I don't like, I don't like what I just saw from that soldier jumping the roof and not saying a word, because he could get melted really fast. I do like that he jumped out to get a pack instead of an arrow. It's very good for heal efficiency. Soldier in our kitchen. In our kitchen. Soldier in kitchen. Okay. We have it. I haven't used. I didn't use. <laughs> oh, that milk is insane. Soldier behind you. They can all die. Chase med after you kill this guy. Nice. Chase med. That was a good milk. Um. Yeah, that pop, you know, had to happen eventually. Yeah, they probably want to have Listen, listen, listen. Go for a back cap. Go for a back cap. Yeah, okay. You, you should don't peek cheese. Listen, if Howard's going bar. for a back half, no one dies here. Howard's the only person. See, I also don't like this. Sandblast is now saying Howard is the only one that can go for the back cap. You need to you need to let your flank work together. Like let them have two people fucking trying to create openings on the flank. Don't just keep trying to send one person to be a hero. Yeah. It's far better yeah, for two people to fight together to set one of them up to get behind than it is for just one person to just go for it. Maybe that's what he means, but it does not get conveyed. And it if I was Soapy, I wouldn't think, you know, if I'm trying to actually do what Sandless is saying, I wouldn't get that from what he just said. So, yeah. I'm spamming from can play don't, don't peek it though, don't peek it though. They pop in bats, really bad Uber. 80%, we should be thinking about repushing. Already calling the rotation, that's good. Two people are on last. So, I would be thinking two soldiers are supposedly on last. We can already be walking in if they just denied our back cap attempt. There should be no soldiers on Z, pipe, whatever. I'd already be taking space. Cool. By now, they're already here. There's a soldier on the there, wall. 20, 120, that guy. Oh, he's... he's gonna flank lower. Okay, yeah. There needs to be a call here. Are we going back for that guy, or are we going forward? This They get disjointed here. Come back, Logan. Come back. Where's Sandblast? Yites fighting... Saw? Saw? What? Where at Saw? Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Where were you, I'm dead, you guys. No, but where were you? Yeah, you... In front of Saw, you ran back Saw, and then what, out window? Like, you didn't say any of that. Soldier there, 120, 120, that guy. Oh, he's... He's gonna flank lower. Come back, Logan, come back. Look, Sandwest is not here. Come back. Then somehow ends up in front? <laughs> what? Nice. And then he says, what the fuck? What about saying, I'm jumping out window. It's clear. The soldier's in front. Everyone pressure. Because your entire team thinks someone's behind, but you just cleared that, and now you're forward. So... Yeah. But wait, wait. That's... Uh, it's not a problem to go for that play. The problem is not saying that you're doing it. Because now, you wanted follow-up, but there's never going to be follow-up if your team doesn't know what the fuck's happening. But! It's a miracle! You guys have the second point. It's, uh, you are no longer getting hit by the brick wall. Now you have a chance to break last. Logan, you should spam on this. You're not ready. Okay, before you get a gun, maybe the urgency is there. Sure. 
But Sandblast isn't buffed, and your flank didn't get another buff either. Their meds in spawn. Meds in fucking spawn. Scout pick. I'd start dry pushing. Start peeking left. Can I stay? I'm done. Oh, I feel the pain. I, I got lower. Sure. If their meds in spawn, try. Okay, when you guys get a pick, think about this. 6v6, right? You're willing to do a two-man sack. That means you're willing to have two less players in the enemy team. You get one pick. Now they have five, you have four. Guess what? You can still sack another person and have two less players than them. And you'll still be relatively in the same position that you wanted to be at the first place. So when you get a pick like that, keep peeking someone else. Maybe Alpha in that situation now thinks, okay, now I should feel like I can afford to die. If it's going to be um, a two-man sack, then obviously he doesn't die if they get nothing. Because then it's 4v6, he needs to be alive. Because you don't want to probably go down three compared to the enemy team. But once you get that pick, now Alpha should be thinking, okay, maybe I can go for something. Maybe Sam Bless and Logan can pressure hard off that pick to create an opening for him. You know, something like that. Bring curve and land on the demo. All right, Logan's weak on bats. He does have a trap there. Look at where everyone's positioned, though. All four of them are in the same place. There's a glaring area that is not being watched. It's right there on the screen through Z. That entire hallway is completely wide open. So if they wanted to, someone could just bust through that and go behind. They're going to go cheese. Something's in cheese right now. It's probably a scout. Scout or soldier probably hiding. I could flank the lore. Yeah, I'm going to go clear something in cheese real quick. I don't like Sandblast doing this as a 1v1. Like, if he's going to go clear Z, he should have heals, at least, to be honest. I'll do it. All right, I've got things in cheese. They're gonna, they have a gun. Uh, All right, let's, they have a sniper top right left. Can you just jump into the sniper? Uh, what is he, top left? Top left. Top left, yeah. Yeah, buff here. Yeah, very very left. Just what, one man sack into the sniper? I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's, he's trying to shoot me. Uh, took 100. Oh my god, I got fucking rolled. I did 100. Back, back up, back up. Hold the doors. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that play? One man sack into a sniper? Oh, this is fucking AIDS. <sighs> so <sighs> cheese. Jumped out. Soldier top two. prey. Back with snipe. Soapy, destroy them. Soapy, go destroy! <laughs> Sorry, it's not that simple. It really isn't. Alright. People are peeking. They're getting spammed out. It's okay. Take it slow. Be patient. I'm doing it right now, top left. There's There's an angle here. Doing what? Okay, he's sacking. Okay. He's pushing, pushing he intends to spawn sniper, supposedly, so the one man sack is like tolerable. Sniper's pushing lobby. Yeah, sniper's aggressive lobby. But regardless, I'd still like to see everyone pressuring. You might as well. Because he might hit some fucking shot. He might force someone out of positioning. You might as well pressure, even if it's a one man sack. Because otherwise, why doesn't he just hit his kill bind? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why doesn't he just run back to spawn? He's jumping away. Yeah, Sniper's peeking main. What the fuck? Just walking what in. The I can I go now? Okay. Yeah, go. Yeah, go, it comes go. in. Right now. Get in. Hands are right. top left as well here. Yeah, I'm oh, peeking. Yeah, a fucking gun. Not a one man sack. Lad just hit 60 in the corner there. No. So Jay. Okay, okay, that was actually a fucking sick jump from Ash. Someone probably should be spotting that. Maybe even the medic can, but I would. I would be reading that as, you know, Sandblast wants to push, so we, we should be pressuring left. Someone else should be spotting right. They should just follow them. Howard, build with our med. Build with our med. We have a fucking sniper, so we can't really do much. Building right. Uber. Sniper. Okay. I'm going to try and run behind here. Okay, watch for a gun. They might just... Yeah, I'll, 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 figure, yeah, I'll figure it out. They used their bats. They used their bats. They used their bats. Oh, that juggle. Oh, you are lucky to be alive. That was almost a huge throw dying there. Because they basically wasted that Uber, so it would have been quite a miracle from... A gift from God if you would have died to that. So, one thing that you guys... You know, you're at least... I don't know if you are doing anything to force them through bats. From my perspective, they probably don't need to pop through bats. Based on the way you guys are playing and what I've seen from Logan not trapping shit, most likely, if they wanted to, they could just milk. So you guys are getting kind of lucky that they're fucking wasting their Uber to get through bats. Because it keeps setting you up for these uh, leapfrogs. 
Any sticky? You guys probably want a little more pressure on the chokes, regardless. Yeah, you're in. A little more vision of when the combo's approaching, all that we kind of stuff. Soldier really high. Curve. Curves out. I don't know where everyone is. I don't know where the traps are. I'm just gonna sit on the point here. They're rushing so right now. Okay, so this is a big difference. Compare this um, situation to situations after your mid fights. Here you guys have full uber, so it's way better for everyone to be, um, it's okay or better, you know, to have people blobbed up. Because what you're trying to do is preserve your uber ad to use it on last instead of getting forced. So compared to when you're dry pushing even ubers with like a pick or something, um, it's better to blob up in this situation with full ad. However, Soapy is isolated. So here's what the enemy team is thinking. We're at full dis ad or, you know, 70% dis ad. What can we do? Well, we can do a fucking crazy play. Push the flank to buy time for our team. Because what they're trying to do right now is they're just trying to throw you guys off. They're trying to waste your time and they're trying to um, neutralize your advantage right now. So right now they're flooding into the flank. And Soapy's alone. Can so he needs to recognize when he's alone in a situation like this and just play to get info and and leave. He needs to expect this play for the rest of his TF2 career, that they're going to do this to him. Like, literally, he should never get caught by this again. Another option, honestly, when you have full ad, six-man in one way. Six-man yard. You can do that, as long as you're not all waddling around. But even that, they might not, like, since their med isn't going to stand his ground, you might even be able to waddle. But, like, both soldiers just jumping through and getting onto bats or, like, anything like that would be acceptable in a situation like this in general this also works a lot in like process and stuff if you have big ad what's the point of just patrolling the flank or pushing the flank alone all you're doing is risking getting isolated and 1v1 so you might as well just blob up to not give them any chance this guy's behind all right yeah okay this is a good call okay so this is a good call from Sandblast. They got a pick in front, two people behind. So that means that there's three people at last. With Uberad still, you guys can win this going last. However, Howard, I think, tried to go avenge Soapy's honor or something and went to 2v1 the people on the flank. Instead, it should just be like, okay, fuck it. They took Saw. We still have fucking massive ad. Let's go last. Yeah, we gotta go Imagine having two scouts here to fucking plow this demo. Oh, where did Sandblast go? He turns around. Uh, the demo was in lobby. I'm coming back to you. Uh, like, why? Why did he turn around? Okay. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Just kidding. What? What? Uh, the demo was in lobby. I'm coming back to you. Like, what the fuck is that? You literally would have won the round if you just, if you just would have committed to that play. Please nice kills. Please. Nice kills on Laz and Yite. But they have Uber, so now it's getting tricky. Uh, I'm gonna play behind the. No, they have Fala. Okay. I'm just pressuring lobby. Howard, sit with our mid. I, I had to turn around because they just. Two, pe two people reeked fucking. I had to turn around? Nah, 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 nah. You didn't have to turn around. You literally could have won the round. I would have. I would have kept going. You had the right idea. When you were inspired to take that Uber, you had the right idea. Now, okay, now Sandblast is getting into sort of desperation mode, though. He just ran underpass alone when Howard's alive. Does this make any sense? Why is Sandblast the one running there? Because right now, Sandblast is trying to overcompensate. He's trying to be a hero because his team is losing, and he thinks that he has to make a miracle happen. That's how you start making more and more mistakes and make things fall apart. So that him just like flipping the rolls like this is very weird. He's gonna, can I, I do this sometimes too. I'll admit it. Yeah, sure. They used out. They used out. I'm we can refight this with AT. I'm dead here. Mm. We should just wait. I'm dead. I, I was okay, it's fine. Again, they just gift you guys Uber ad oh, oh, when they could have yeah. just milked. You guys should start, this is where you, you guys should start going saw, like, lower. Okay. Like, okay, I like this. Sandblast finally is, you know, at least giving Howard the chance to take the Uber and, like, start this push even though he's dead. You can drop out window, Howard. 
Someone's on mid. I don't like how no one's watching Z here. This is incredibly dangerous. Because they could just come through and force you. Or, you know, some spam could come through. Okay, there's people behind. They keep peeking the front. Okay, nice focus fire. It's going to be... Helping each other. Sam last is convinced you have an ad. Popping through. They pop. They counter pop. Logan. Logan's caught in. It happens. Logan's dead. You kill Laz. This is still relatively fine. Sandblast needed the beam before he committed to this. If he would have had 185 and heals, he probably could take this fight. But before he's even gotten healed, he already has 70 health. And he's dead. Like, he's he's saying he's upset at Logan here. Logan followed his Uber call and then gets juggled in. There's like it happens. I think he thinks Logan's alive right now and able to like trap out this door, maybe. But he's wrong because Logan's still oh, fucking spawning. I just gotta shoot the fucking doors, man. I'm getting out. He just rushed that push. Now he's on sniper. So again, maybe maybe a little too much hero plays happening. Howard is the combo scout now. I don't know. But already 75%, like, you guys build pretty quick. It's good. No, no, it's here. We both have it right now. We should push We should go lower. They're still in C right now. It's just the scout and soldier. Don't like that because okay. they're just gonna bomb you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I assume Someone don't. Again, maybe it's just like they don't know what the terminology is. I assume by don't death ball, he means let's not have five people standing in these two doorways, please. But um, instead, it might be a little bit more direct to say, hey, Alpha. Get the fuck away from us and go watch Saw and help Soapy. You know, something like that. I'm already lower. Don't worry. Hi. Don't death ball, guys. Don't death ball. Don't what does that mean? They're, they're, right. they're still all just standing here. What does it mean? I'm coming back to your kitchen. Uh, um, I'm peeking another door. I'm peeking yeah. window. I'm just gonna wide peek fucking Saw. So this is this is what I'm saying is like I think Sandblast and Seeds are trying to tell their team things, but it's not clicking because they didn't prepare. They didn't prepare enough for this. They don't know what that means. They don't, they're not like, they haven't run the the drills. You know what I mean? So when you make that call, your team doesn't in instantly know what to do because they've done it a thousand times. This is, it feels like this is new information to them. And so they're either like uh, disregarding it or not getting it at all or trying to do what you're saying but not knowing exactly what you want so this is why you need to prepare before a match because otherwise these sorts of misunderstandings will happen can someone shoot these stickies at my feet i'm shooting them it's at 40. Damn. you guys are fine here though yeah you have a sniper sandblast you know, he just needs to be patient. He's literally been alive on Sniper for, what, 30 seconds? And he's already, like, saying that this is a lost cause. There's 20 minutes left. It's completely okay. Yeah, exactly. Ah, the wisdom. Seeds is so much more experienced as, as a, as a top-level player, I feel like. He just knows, like, yo, let's chill. We have time. Like, let's not fucking throw this away. That's what the half is supposed to be for. Mental reset. Yeah, yeah. Just, just... Oh! He just called for Soapy to just sack. Why? Just call if things are looking. If things are looking, okay. I'm Alpha, don't stand here, please. Okay, he finally told Alpha to not stand here. Finally. People on mid? Okay, come back, kill these people. I need a help in kitchen. Oh my god. This is just like a disaster.
God damn. Pain. Mm. So, so, mm. so. They're in through saw. You don't have enough people to fight this, so everyone should just be out. Set up for a, a good last hold. Spotting every doorway. There needs to be urgency to spot lower. There's zero urgency. You need to be thinking, we're not spotting lower, we're going to fucking lose. That's what you need to be thinking. Even if they don't come lower, that information is so important. I'm gonna spawn heavy on the post here. I'm so on the call. You're not gonna they use left. They use. Okay, you have two soldiers sitting in like sort of gimmick spots, but you have nothing drawing their attention away from them. So they just walk in. There's no sentry on the right. There's no sticky trap on the right. They just walk in. Like, oh, soldier to my left. Guess I'll kill him. Oh, a second soldier to my left. Guess I'll shoot him and force him out. There needs to be some, like, attempt to set up your teammates on this this last hold, but there also needs to be some attempt to get information. There's neither of those fundamental aspects of a last hold happening. Uh, your sentry stays up for a while. Pretty good. Now three people are dead. 98%. Uber's popped, but it's, you know, two versus four. Nice pipe. Alpha's almost there. Trap the point! I'm getting floated. Alpha bombs. Hmm. So the soldier deals with the demo, the scout deals with Alpha. If Alpha could have gotten in in any way to not get denied by the scout, you probably actually held that. If you just would have done like a low jump to the side of the point and just shot the soldier, you guys actually might hold that. But he jumped too high. The, the scout just denied him. But the best fun this map, so. there's many things that precede that. Okay, let me rewind. What did he say? Like, I don't know, man. I'm not even playing on mid. Good. They're probably gonna commit two soldiers into us, so let's just have scouts on the high ground and clean them up. Our mids are good. Okay. The best fun just saying the mids are good, yeah. It's so looking like a commit mid. I died. Double soldier bomb. Pretty good kills. I mean, it's not a full wipe. Nice attempt. Alright, let me rewind again just to see that. Probably gonna commit two soldiers into us, so let's just kind of have scouts on the high ground and clean them up. Who's Ford's team leader? I believe it is Sandblast. Even though it may appear that, um,. Seeds is their uh, their wisest player. Sandblast is sort of the face and leader of the team, I believe. Oh, okay. So you guys actually died to a low bomb there. The high bomb was pure distraction. You may not notice it, but the soldier that actually fucked you, he's the guy jumping down here under kitchen. The guy that jumped up here didn't do shit. This guy that jumped low, he's the one that got in your face and fucked you. So then that guy just cleaned you up. So, the only way to prevent that from happening is someone needs to be patrolling that lane. Or, the moment you recognize that happening, you gotta, like, exit the choke or something. Um, but if you just let them get that off clean, yeah, it's gonna be rough. One sec. Alright, this is almost over, so I'm just gonna finish this. All right, Soapy is the last one standing. It's gonna get out. But they're stacking mid. They're not in on second. There's an attempt at a, at a second hold here. A force. You got to decide. Sentry on last. To me, to me that means you can afford to sack because you have something to fall back on. So I like this coordination between Alpha and Soapy. This has not happened a single time until this point in the match, where they actually like are trying to coordinate some attempt to force them on the way in. Right, lobby. It's a good pick, but I don't like how everyone just leaves when Soapy goes in. You guys need to pressure. 
what the presumably they're not running the quick fix so when they say they're in lower the med isn't teleporting to fucking bats and like ready to uber on you immediately you have some time to still like you know spam a little bit right I don't know. They're probably gonna use it to us anyways. For night. They're lower. Where are you? Yeah, they're, gonna they're coming in lower. You guys are gonna get Uber though. Might be a nice uh, surprise. Yeah, they're already lower. They're lower, they're lower again. Cooler. Kind of. A good counter pop. Stop them top right. Who are you chasing? Okay, the call was to get the guys top right. So yeah, they can die right. top and lower. Kill that scout. Nice. Nice Fucking rocket. Up. Okay, rocket both scouts down. They're down three. Demo down. Did he just say, are you keeping the sentry? What? I hope there's no doubt that you're pushing. Okay, they are pushing. Four picks, okay. They're talking about what they're clearing. Because they don't want to throw this away with a with a back cap. Very good, very good. I feel like they have a spy. We have to play aggro? Oh my god, this is so forced. Alright, let me see. Let me go back a little bit. Yeah, they can die top and lower. They got both scouts. I don't like dropping off here. That seems a bit weird. I feel like staying up there, you know, would be a bit faster to chase, but whatever. Just a small thing, because now Logan's alone here. That was a bit risky. <laughs> okay, they're out. Everyone's in front. At least deny the soldier. I don't know if they have some sort of telepathy, but they didn't even say to stack the point. They just all did it. That's kind of interesting. It was the right thing to do, but... But the call right now should be, let's see if we can get into mid while the soldier's dead. Um, Because Laz is currently still dead. So that creates a lot of opportunities. Kitchen might be easier to push. Catwalk might be easier to push. They only have one soldier. So. But Samla says, we have to play aggro. I'm just going to fight this guy saw. Laz is still dead. He's still dead. Think about how much time it's going to take for him to spawn, then get out of spawn, get to the fight, and be relevant in this fight. It's not as urgent as he's making it seem. It's far more important to have your flank ready. So what you need to do is say, hey, we're in saw, we're ready. Then you wait. Flank? Flank? Are you out there? Yeah, we're lower. We're ready. Okay. Now the push happens. That's all you have to fucking do. Land on demo? Who? No one said they were ready. Who do you think's gonna land on the demo? They don't even know this push is happening yet. Like, who's gonna land on the fucking demo? As far as the enemy team is concerned, two people just walked in, saw alone, and nothing was happening anywhere else on the map. In an ideal push, your flank is pressuring, but you need to coordinate that first. They're not just going to be pressuring, like, I don't know, unless they know a push is happening. You get what I'm saying? Yes, it is correct that your flank needs to be doing things, but the push needs to be coordinated so that they can do those things. Does it make sense? Okay. I need to help Southside Sora on second. And now everyone's dead, so it's GG, probably. I have three people shooting at me. Um, I should have literally waited like three seconds for me to okay. get Alright, there you go. Howard just said it. You should have waited three seconds for us to get in. That's it. We got it. They're going left. Bomb left, bomb left. I just lost. I'm gonna watch the lower round. Don't get caught there. Don't get caught there. I'm on the lower round. I'm getting in. Yeah, puffy. Okay, lower round. All right, Alpha got caught. He peaked a bit too hard. So definitely, you know, something that you have to get used to is like you can get punished super fast even if you're just fucking peaking. So Alpha. 
is uh, he's already shown that he has a few um, soldier like tendencies that I'd say are not proper soldier gameplay. He's not really a soldier main, if you really think about it. Um, he needs to take this stuff a little more seriously, be a, more, a little bit more careful, and start, you know, being more methodical with how he peeks and all this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, they're not going to, you know, flood into last off of a soldier pick when it's even Ubers. Sandblast says he's going for a play. They're three down. We should just take second, second shit. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Okay, Sandblast gets the force. That's good. That's good. But no one gets through? They're essentially still three down. There's four doorways. Someone needs to get through. Okay. Look at the right doors every. Well, you got a force. So now you can push out a last with Ad. What are you going to do? Let's see. Let Howard do it. I am out. It's probably more appropriate. As I said, Sandless is starting to get into like that playmaking hero mode. We can pop out if you want. Yeah, just move go on Logan through wherever he wants. Ah. Remember how they popped out bats four times in a row and got zero things with it? <laughs> now you guys are doing that with zero info either. You're just popping in blind through bats. Thinking it's gonna be a good push. Logan potentially dies there too. It's risky. Okay, someone's going last. He dies. They're doing some chaos shit. And they're on the point now? Huh? Where did Logan go? Okay. So you, you should be expecting a leapfrog situation. The only way that you win this is by playing around your demo. Med has it, med has it, med has it. It's the only way. But Sandblast is like fighting them alone. This has to be a focus fire type fight. It has to be like centered around your demo's damage. Otherwise, you're just going to get melted. Like, you're at full disad thinking you're just going to like fight into that. You have to remember your medic doesn't want to be anywhere near them. Because they have ad, and your med is smart enough to not fucking run into an enemy uber. So, yeah, I don't know. That call's just wrong. But, regardless, when this back cap chaos shit's happening... Here, look at, look at what happens here. I'll go forward a little bit more. You guys are gonna pop through? Logan bombs all the way to yard and turns around. Nope. Lock out the chokes. You bombed forward. You took all this ground. Now keep it. Fucking trap the choke. I was so confused when you turn back around and their combo's just on the point. Like, hey guys, free real estate over here. Like, you, um, yeah. You took all that ground, lock out the chokes. They should not be able to come in for free here. Okay, Alpha's calling urgently. People are going back to last. Sometimes you just got to have people say, okay, I got it. I'm handling it. Because right now, no one's saying I got it. So it still sounds like this is a fucking like round losing situation. But in reality, Soapy's there. I think Howard's probably there. Like there's three people already covering it. Yeah, I'm fighting right now. I'm fighting fighting. You didn't need to concede the entire fucking yard to clean that up. People already had it handled. Med has it, med has it, med has it. Med has it for the yard. Yeah, we absolutely should be... Oh my god, Scott is 70. No way, bro. So, yeah. Might want to be on the fucking soldier's side. Yeah. Coming left here. Brown's on 70. All right, well, now they're just going to walk in for free. You have no demo. You're down a scout. They walk in. They pop Uber. They isolate people. They focus fire them. The demo misses, but everyone else is dead. So that's GG.
GG. Yeah, a lot of that was my bad. And as you can see, as you can see, oh, there's a question. Seeds is in the chat asking, you bait there, you're not sure if it's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. It's absolutely the right thing to do. Because if you go forward, what? They just pop on you and you die. Sandblast made the wrong call. Just forget that. As you can see, though, from this entire thing, Ford had great, like, mids. They had good opportunities to, like, dry push, to take exchanges, all this stuff. But they just are playing fundamentally wrong in a, in a few different ways that Witness Gaming is exploiting over and over and over again. Witness Gaming, as a team, you know, all these players, they've been around for a long time. They're a lot better at, um, you know, playing with confidence and just doing the right thing instantly. Because they've practiced this stuff. They've probably discussed this stuff. But Ford hasn't, I assume. They need to do it. If they just do these simple things, I guarantee they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this other team. Because I would say Wit Witness Gaming was playing well in this match. They were playing as they should if they're like on their game. And so if Ford steps up, this becomes a super close match. It's it really could be. I see I see the potential. And there's nothing that hurts me more than wasted potential. So please, Ford, I know you're all watching this. Please get your shit together. Fix this stuff. Okay? Your fans want to see it. I want to see it. Become a real team, as Skeez is saying in the chat. Become a real team. Stop being a pug team. Stop being a fucking fuck around team. Stop being a, I don't know, we can beat up on all the mid invite teams team. Become a real team. All right? Please, please do that. And with that, we will conclude this review. I hope that you found it educational and informative. Hopefully players of all skill levels can learn from this, although a lot of it's very nuanced and very technical, high-level stuff. Um, hopefully you can see the value of teamwork, the value of positioning, and the value of leadership, the value of constructive criticism, you know? Compare and contrast how Seeds talks to his team to Sandblast. Which one is helping his team more? The value of preparation. Do they know what each other is talking about? Have they gone over the drills? Have they... Um, assigned positions, you know, all these simple things that don't actually take, like, skill, mechanics. They can take a team to the next level, all right? Ford, become next level, all right? I'll be waiting for you. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching that video. I'd like to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters right now, shown on the screen, especially Vio, who is supporting at level four. If you'd like to get your name featured here, as well as a chance to see my videos early, or even get mentoring opportunities and other exclusive content, head over to patreon.com slash banny. Thanks.